Okay, hello and welcome back everybody. This is going to be a, another part for the Cultures Grand Campaign. Um, if, a bit of news obviously before I start the video. Um, this should be released on Monday hopefully. I'm recording this Sunday night and then we'll be back on track for this week's videos each day up until Friday. And I had done a live stream video well, I had a live stream battle with the Rambler and Warrior Sparta and Total Warzone on Saturday night. They've uploaded this siege battle that we had onto both of their channels, Warrior Sparta and Rambler. And Total Warzone said he's going to be doing a cinematic version of it. So I assume obviously he'll be uploading that soon as well. So if you go to their channels, I'll link the video in this description for this video. So in case you've already missed it. But go check it out, it's really good. Really, really one of the best battles I've had in a very long time and obviously siege battle that there were certain things where it goes against you in the sense if you're attacking but you get out with most sieges so bear that in mind the sieges generally favour the defender but it was still really good nonetheless and I had a lot of fun playing with them guys so again if you haven't subscribed to them already they are in my feature channel section on my channel page um, you guys probably know who they are anyways but if you haven't Rambler Warrior Sparta and then I will add Total Warzone onto mine he's not there at the moment but I'll add him onto it as well so in the last part we made a push up against Arminia we've taken two of their settlements and we obviously left it here to obviously attack these guys so we're obviously going to be dealing with a few skirmishers and then the annoying archers which I fucking hate but luckily it's not too many the rest of them are weak units minus the general and obviously the mercy unit they've got there we've only got one army against them but we're gonna have to use our cavalry to the best of advantage but we do have ballista at least so we can deal with that so enough of that might as well talk during the loading screen but yeah I'll use my ballistas up against these guys and I will leave the hoplite in with the horses as well so we can push them up together maybe in case the archers do come along unfortunately we haven't the only hot potatoes are not units that throw any, anything like spears etc like the ferris but uh, fewer spears so you can't take a few out while they're charging and then obviously charging off but they're gonna be a bit annoying i always find them annoying i'm not very good against horse uh, or skirmishing units i tend to get pissed off of them and don't really know how to handle them. The only thing you can really do is to have a few slingers throwing shots at them to keep them at bay. And then obviously once you can get a um, infantry unit you do like with a cav. But as long as you can get them kind of like bogged down with a unit, doesn't matter what unit is, then you can obviously charge in with your horses and then get a few slingshots. But the idea is normally slingshots from a distance. But, but what I will do is I'll use my ballista to focus on them anyways. And obviously then, uh, probably them heavy, heavy cav units, because they're most likely going to be charging out with some of these. So let's get him in some sort of range, but in protection as well. We are at your command. But we'll put these on the flanks in case these beanheads do anything. We'll do the same. It's open land, so it's not like we can do anything. We could probably hide in there, but there's no point. Folk, uh, main point, obviously, where they're going to be situated is in this area. They're probably going to funnel, or try and get me funneled down these two lanes, and then obviously there are some units here. We can try and flank round on both sides, which you probably will do, and then come down these lanes while having units coming down here, and then here if they can get through. I assume they can, but let's figure that out. Uh, and ready. They can get ready for that lane. Partly axemen, partly. Group awaiting orders. They can get ready for that lane, and then we'll start getting these guys. Move it down here. But yeah, I, I, you know. I think it's good playing against other people in general, like a, um, who's not AI, because you do learn a lot more tactics. To be perfectly honest, than playing single player campaign, I get quite complacent. I don't really, I always do the same shitty tactics. I don't really change it up. Even with hot potatoes, I don't, I don't like using them, but I don't even use it to the best ability. I always forget to use the hot potato walls and stuff like that. So 
when you're playing against obviously human players, I find it a lot better to pick up on these things and not forget them as well. Personally, I don't know what you guys think as well with it, but that's how I find it. In case they do send these idiots out. A little bundled, so it's getting firing. These are the units we want to focus on. Where are you? That's all chances. Well, they're actually all coming in now, so we may need to pull back. So that wasn't a good idea. We are at your command. Advance at speed. Hop retains. Quick march. Melee cavalry. Stringers. Fire on the enemy. Let's even get these. Ch charge him. Okay, let's charge into these quickly. Same for them. Let's get him onto that flank. Okay, let's get these guys back. Stay there guys. Get out of there. I just told you to get out of there. I think we start moving these guys in. Because obviously that unit just got taken the fuck out. And we'll try and get... Start firing from them. Let's get them round. Uh, we'll get these in the mix because they're the ones going to be doing more damage than anyone else. Go on, you to get charged. Okay, start firing on these guys. Okay, they're starting to flee now. Let's start taking these guys up. In general, you come in. Let's try and get some extra kills, so let's continue. You ain't getting away, boy. Okay, let's fast forward it. I think there's only one unit we may have lost there, and that was a hot potato unit. Who obviously got caught up in a the mix there, unfortunately. But minus that, it wasn't too bad. I think that'd be done now, so. Uh, let's quick fail. And then see what happens.
Okay, like. Oh, I don't think we did lose one. They must have uh, wavered and then obviously come back. Because it doesn't say we've lost anyone there. Whoa, bloody hell. 249 kills for that guy. Uh, blister 548. <whistles> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Oh well, they were a big. They were in up uh, some big blob first of all, weren't they? So bloody hell, man! 548. <whistles> Obviously, they've done 50s and above hundreds. These guys probably didn't get a mix because they were uh, the ones probably to the side. Same with these guys as well. So my bloody uh, trying to use some tactics by getting them going down the lanes, but obviously they rushed out. They seem to do that a lot more since the Imperial to Augustus. Um, yeah, Emperedition patches and stuff have gone through. They do seem to do a little bit more rushing tactics. Instead of just staying there in the middle and you were to attack. They probably, obviously, when they've got a little bit more cab, they obviously rush out and attack you compared to, obviously, the mediocre units they've got. So it kind of makes sense, but you'll find they do it a lot. Obviously, 142s, 200s there. There, guys, meh, 10 kills each. That's absolutely pathetic. So, you know. Could have done a little bit better, but obviously I had to quickly try and maneuver my troops around. Main thing is me to try and get some money, and then we can start pushing up and taking a few more of these settlements. But now, oh fuck, we already had Gabali, didn't we? Oh, crap. It's because I haven't played it for a couple of days. Rubbish. That's absolute crap. That. We already had a Kabbalah, so I've just wasted money on doing that. Oh well. Shit happens. Uh, yellow or that for public order? I think we probably do that for money. Okay. That was a full army stack that was there. Yeah, that's the reason why I've done that. Okay, cool. So these guys are going to be going over here to protect the armor fear, and then these ones are going to be going back there. Uh, we'll do that on the next turn because obviously we want to take Tushberg which has got the iron and then once we get that Not that settlement this one we can upgrade and then obviously Get the hippest lances and the axemen. So oh, that's a waste of money Slightly annoying on that. I should have Realized I haven't played it for uh, quite a few days. So unfortunately I forgot about that 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 was actually while we was recapturing back We'll do cavalry on that, so we can get some extra infants in that department. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Yeah, because they sent the full army stack up, they just took it and uh, attacked him. I forgot about that. My bad. But yeah, definitely go check out that battle I was talking about. It's really, really good. It was good to... I had a previous siege battle with uh, Total Warzone the day before that. And then... Um, it was really, really laggy, and we were doing the Battle of Babylon. It's like a really massive um, siege battle, and it's not that good to watch, to be perfectly honest, because there's too many points people can go through and stuff like that. So, I don't know, it's probably all right. It just depends. Maybe it's a free on free, but obviously, you need someone who's a good host. Oh, wrong one. Because you find that a lot of the. Uh, the siege battles they lag like anything because obviously you got to think there's a lot multiple units on the map so sacred grove that's so annoying that i've done that i think we saved the money though and then we can i think the idea is we can more likely get troops within him than anyone else and we can get that maxed out get a ballista but obviously we can't get too many units at the moment we can't make them a full stack but we should be able to take another settlement in a second so we can push up as long as we're not stretching our forces too thin i think the idea is is uh, at some point i'm going to try and get some of the other factions to declare war in armenia because they're too big for me to take on i can't take them on completely but i think to speed things up and for them to not be as much of a threat I think it'd be wiser to do that. Money's just gone up, so... It's because of that. Okay, I think we'd rather just increase these things at the moment. Food-wise, you could increase that. Army replenishment would be good. May do that. Uh, three grand. 
I uh, hope to God we wasn't on level 2 for this, otherwise I just wasted a lot of money. There's a potential we could save up for that. But anyways, let's move him back. And he's there to protect that, <laughs> even though it's just a general. So, potentially we can move up here to Amasia. And it's a note, and then we've got all the settlements we can get of this uh, province. I'm going to see who our Armenia actually war with. Boxiani, Masagete, Sparta, and slaves. Okay. Welcome, worthy friend. Let us break bread and drink ale before words pass our lips. I'm not going to obviously pay for it, but I was going to see how much I do ha oh, I haven't got any money anyways. Uh, and the boy. You okay. are welcome. So they're more in our favour now. Uh, sorry, the um, balance of power. I mean, I think obviously our massives are not going to like us. The same as the boy. So we need, we need to expand anyways before people can start taking a little bit of notice of us. Because unfortunately they don't at the moment. They think they can crush us. And that's why we're getting a lot of people to go in war. Well, big factions. I had to deal with Kremiri, which took a little while, but and then obviously Aminia was slowly making a little bit of progress with them. But I don't want to stretch my forces too much in case we get crushed. And we could do that one. That's cool. A little bit of extra cash. Cash money. Uh, maybe next time I'll do a couple units, because we're going to get a, couple, a little bit more money in there. How much these cost again? 120. We can. I reckon we could do all horses actually for that. Commander. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And then we. I think Tushpa might be more beneficial. How much does it cost for this? That's gonna be about three grand as well. Eight food. Yeah. So we need to obviously obtain more food first before anything. Tushpa would help with that. Hmm. Is it? Hmm. Very interesting. Gazakar, and we can leave it here maybe. I think if we can move up to Gazakar, take that. We'll take Tushba with him, and they stay there. They are not moving for shit. Once he's a full stack, that is, obviously. Then we can push this guy up to Sinope. Well, he's going to take Amasia first, Sinope. Then he'll come back down, Amasota, etc, etc. Obviously, in the meanwhile, while we're doing all that, this guy will be building troops, and he'll be doing protect, going towards this side of the, uh, the map as well. Hmm. And what research are we doing? Agriculture. Oh, yeah, because we're going to get increases from all the food that we're getting. A lot of the stuff we have got at the moment is agriculture anyways. Public order and corruption is maxed out already. Because that's what I've been working on the most. I think we just take a settlement at a time, convert it over, and then we can get some more troops. I don't think anything happened, that's it. No. So fortunately we haven't got any trade with anyone as well, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, we'll do, uh, we'll do, I think we can only do, oh, we can only do one actually, can't we? Yeah. Got enough hoplites, we can't do anything else. Okay, fair enough. Let's do one at a time. A bit annoying. Uh, where's our spire? That's the thing. What level are they? They're quite high up. We'll get them to sit here. So we can see what's at Tushpa before we move up. Because if worse comes to us, we can stick that gem on a couple of units into armor here in case they move up into that little gap there and come across. Because obviously, if we leave it open. But I think once we. Oh, okay. Once you start getting about another three, four settlements, these guys are starting to take heed of us. We might be able to get some trade routes open, ideally. The ghetto being destroyed. Grain pits. Okay, 
Okay, they're, they're done now. Well, we might as well just do the Cartley Axeman next. I think, we, yeah, we'll just max these guys out. There's no point in waiting around, I think. Then we can move up as soon as possible. Okay, there's coming nothing there. We're back here. But Gazika, so we can move them guys up from Gabala. Soon we take them two settlements, we can convert them over, get some cash, and then once we get, well, a spare three grand, we can uh, obviously build up the extra better troops there. But we might not be able to do them yet, but it means for future army stacks we can build them there and then obviously get the decent units. We've got decent cav at the moment anyways, but it just means we get a little bit more. So, okay, it's gone down a little bit, but sod it. Good laugh, good laugh, good laugh. Okay. And then after that we just got to save money so we can convert Tishba over and then the same thing. They're empty, so we should be alright. But I don't want to overstretch my guys, because we did take out a huge chunk of army just for that four army stack at Kabala and then obviously okay they just moved the guy up there, so they're starting to rebuild, so we need to make a push as soon as possible. Oh, that's good. Mission successful. Com completely control 10 settlements. Uh, you know what I mean. Okay, so one soldier and then the rest is going to go on things with, which will get me money. Which is, yes, finally I could do that. So this is the money now. That's what I've been waiting for. Okay, so we're going to do this. Obviously we can't build up this now because obviously the food situation, but we're going to do this one, we'll get better garrison, siege defences, etc, etc, we're going to get for, for extra 400 money, we're going to save for the next one, until we can get a thingy, I say that we need to take take the settlements, we've got that one building, or should we do armor here? This is probably more beneficial. Saying that we get more of an increase in this day because well from all sources which will be this as well once I upgrade that so and these guys these two so maybe it's best to do that one okay cool we'll see what happens money wise if you can do that or not but okay that guy's been done so he can start moving down towards Gazaka take that first and then we'll take that guy down to Tishpa but that was welcome indeed Having an extra 400 cash is going to help out a lot. So. Okay, they're starting to move forces around as well now. Even if they're small ones, it's going to be annoying to deal with. Oh shit, spies died. Whoa, we're getting money. So we're going to do all of them now. We need to get some food in as well. So control 10 settlements. Uh, subjugate 9 different factions. Okay, so we can do this one, this is an extra four food. But obviously we need to start doing some food now, so let's have a look where we can do that. It says this one, but it never goes up, does it? I'd say we can do some recruitments, but... Okay, that's going up. That's going up, and that will go food as well. It's not essential at the moment. Okay, the money we've got. How long is the food taking to come in? Let's them two done. Maybe we could do that one as well. Five tens. We should be. I could wait. I'll wait for that one. I'll wait for that one. I'd say. Uh, three grand. We can wait for that one and what we'll do is this one. One food. It's going to take three turns for that. Are we going to get away with it? Okay. So, there we go. 
think we're going to be alright. <laughs> Let's start moving this guy up. Okay, this, these are going to help me out a lot. So we can start getting some extra cash in and we can just churn out that full farmy stack. And we can make a serious dent on these guys then. The more servants we take, the less money they'll be getting, so the less troops they can build. That's the idea. But unfortunately we don't have a spy now, which is a little bit annoying, which is a good idea if we actually build them, isn't it? And we'll stick them in there. Because obviously we don't want to be left too open. Uh, obviously we're just going to have to wait turns until things are built. And um, we can still do the one in, I forget the name of it, but the one to the west, which is uh, the Khmerian's capital. Okay, there was an army stat just, just moved then, so yeah, we do need to get this uh, spy leveled up, and then obviously, beam worked. Beekeeping, okay, that one's done. Let's see what else we can do for money. We haven't got any trades, so there's no point doing that, we've obviously maxed that one out. Wealth from industry, that'd be good, and we can max uh, building costs will go down. Temple constructions. What about troops? We've got pre we've got siege towers. Missile damage for all land units, melee defense for all units, melee attack, four charge range for land units. That's actually quite good. Movement range. We could go that route so we can get movement ranges up. Oh we've got this. Uh, pension rates. Upkeep. Actually, I think we'll go this route. We can get these movement ranges for armies and fleets up, and then we'll go into the other one. Muster field. Okay. Let's move this lady down anyways, and then we'll put them in that army stack so she can level up. She's not going to be able to do anything, but yeah, as you can see here. Whoa, full army stack. And they're building their army there. Okay, so let's attack. We're obviously going to be left open here, though. Okay, maybe you can fit all that over, and then... Gravitas... Well, we'll take full speed, armed units... Yeah, I think that'd be good. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, obviously, we've got these guys to deal with here. Once money starts coming in, we're just going to build units into this one. This one can move down as well, but we're going to have to see what this... Oh, shit, they've got quite a lot of troops. So we may have to disengage from this area and move back up. So, hopefully these things will be built soon, so we can defend a little bit better. So I'm saying, you can't stretch yourself too thin, unfortunately, in this manoeuvre. You kind of have to. There you go, they're moving up. They're going to go straight to Kabbalah, the bastards. Absolute twats. Okay, they're probably going to take that back, but I don't really care. Unfortunately, we wasted a bit of money on it, though. It's the only annoying thing. <sighs> Construction good food. Okay. Food's gone up, and that's gone up. We've just got some food coming in before the other settlements get built. So we might not be able to make a, a proper push-up until these guys have been built up so they can protect the Kabbalah. If we lose the other settlement, I'll just recapture it. It's not a problem. Okay, oh, we might be able to take that one out. Okay, they're moving both forces. Oh, okay, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. 
It's the only annoying thing when you have smaller bloody armies, they just run around doing stupid shit and you can't really do a lot about it. I don't think it's worth wasting any money on this, so because they may recapture it. 1300, we've gone up now, so we'll whack a couple of units in here. Are you ready for as long as we've got some units and we're throwing in Kabbalah then, so it's not left open, we can protect this. It's the main thing. And let's just level it up. Okay. It's going to hurt them though, once we take the iron from Tishpa and obviously take out these forces, so... Okay, we'll put them in that settlement, I could just start building it up now. I don't mind wasting money on it. Maybe not. Let's stay there though, see what happens. Whoa, okay. Got loads of food now. But you won't do that yet. Even if we just get about eight, nine units in it and just stick them in Kabbalah. We've got the uh, garrison there as well, so. Because I'm going to spend too much money because we want to be able to uh, can do some buildings on that settlement. And obviously, here we go. We're not about to take that out, so. This is why I didn't want to build any buildings there anyways. Commander. Okay, we'll take that back, kill them off. It's our little ones, the annoying ones have gone wiped, and then we'll see what these guys do. Ready for orders. And we're living up in the process. Assassination manipulation. Um, we can actually move these guys down to Kabbalah now, because obviously they're going to keep trying doing that. But I don't mind, I just didn't do that before. And then we can just whack a couple extra units in there. And then maybe that slinger, I think that'd be it for these guys. Because we're not gonna have any money left otherwise. Let's try and stabilize this and get rid of these little bloody crappy forces. Once we take Tushpa, oh we've got another one here. Oh shit son. Okay, so we're gonna have to fight this one out. Oh, there's a lot of calf as well. Jesus Christ. We've got Ballista. If we make some choke points, we can take out this cavalry. The rest I'm not worried about. It's just the bloody horse archers are gonna be a pain in the backside. Obviously it's Persian Cav. Fortunately with the previous battle, if I fought it myself, I would have lost these cavalry units. But these two are nearly been wiped out and we've got to deal with uh, four of these. But this is going to be key for this. But I'm going to quick save it. Obviously we won't be doing this battle in this video, in this part. But obviously we'll be doing it for the next part. It's going to be quite a hard battle to deal with actually. Considering the horse archers and stuff like that. Other troops not too concerned, minus the horse cav. But we're going to have to make some choke points and then obviously hopefully deal with them as best as possible. 
but I hope you enjoyed this part. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, give the video a like, and uh, feel free to talk to me in the comment section below. And like I said, I'll try and link the other guys' channels if you haven't seen them already for the siege battle that we had on stream, uh, random stream the other day. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.